Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here. I've gathered up some of the latest cyberpunk headlines and boiled down everything you need to know. Today I'll be discussing what's next for CD Projekt Red, their latest milestone with the game, some aesthetic changes to our main character, and more. Let's get right into it. A pivotal step in any game release is getting it rated by the ESRB and PEGI. CDPR's Adam Badowski announced on Twitter that the game has been submitted to local ratings groups. While they wait to receive their rating, which will most likely be an M, the team is reportedly working on polishing the technical aspects of the game. Badowski claims that the game is looking better and better with each passing day, showing that CD Projekt has been taking full advantage of additional polishing time. The tweet itself reads, We just submitted Cyberpunk Game to age rating agencies around the world, PEGI, ESRB, etc. While we wait for the game to get rated, we work on polishing technical aspects and playtesting it. Game is looking better and better with each passing day. In another story that's been making the rounds, CD Projekt has begun working on its next game, following Cyberpunk. It'll be an adventure set in the world of The Witcher, but it might not be exactly what you think. Adam Kaczynski, CD Projekt CEO, has stated that the team is working on its next single-player game. He didn't give many more details beyond that, and also the fact that CD Projekt Red wishes to create games in two worlds, The Witcher and Cyberpunk. He went on to clarify, I already said that there will be no The Witcher 4. I clearly said that The Witcher was a trilogy. Simultaneously, we've always emphasized that we want to create Witcher games, and the agreement with Sapkowski confirmed our rights. It's already working, but we don't want to commit to it yet. We'll start working on this next game right after Cyberpunk 2077. By his wording, perhaps CD Projekt is preparing to take The Witcher in their own direction with new Witchers from different backgrounds and types of training. While I do wish CDPR would kind of just move on from The Witcher and stick to Cyberpunk, a Witcher adventure that completely deviates from Geralt is interesting. While players will be able to customize their own version of V, the male and female default characters have become central to the game's advertising material. However, to celebrate International Women's Day 2020, fans were greeted to a new look for female V. She hasn't changed too much, except that she's rocking an updated hairdo, which may reflect some new choices in the game. She's got some new piercings and a more angular look to her face. She also has more muted makeup. The caption reading, Miss V, a pleasure, was used alongside an announcement from CD Projekt that the game will feature reversible box art, allowing players to match it to their chosen body type. This is just another little flourish that shows that CD Projekt really isn't skimping on any of the details. It does have me wondering, however, will we have additional choices like piercings? Is the old hairstyle no longer available in-game? We'll definitely have to wait and see. We'll already be seeing the voodoo boys and the animals in the game once Cyberpunk drops. But if recently released art is anything to go by, we'll be seeing the Tiger Claws as well. An artist who goes by Deathburger, featured in the official Cyberpunk 2077 Steelbook, recently posted a piece of art that shows the Voodoo Boys, Maelstrom, Valentinos, and Tiger Claws. This triad and Yakuza-inspired game is rumored to be secretly funded by Arasaka. Mike Pondsmith himself has even tweeted about a specific character named Mashiko, who may be caught up in some trouble and may need your help getting out of it. This connection has me looking back at previously released promo content and concept art with fresh eyes. Perhaps we've been seeing this gang all along. It's also worth noting that in Cyberpunk 2077, their name seems to be changed to Tiger's Claw as opposed to Tiger Claw, although other changes from the original lore remain to be seen. For the collectors among you, the past few weeks have been full of new Cyberpunk collectibles for you to get your hands on. With McFarlane showing off their new posable figures for both Johnny Silverhand and V, and now Pure Arts showing off their own figure. This one-sixth figure is now available for pre-order, and it features a light-up collar for the jacket, as well as mantis arms, fabric clothing, and even a Militech handgun. The high-quality figure doesn't come cheap, though, as it'll set you back $229.99. It's also speculated that Pure Arts is making a female V variant as well, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and just an aside for you collectors out there, a while back I showed off my personal Militech handgun replica that I finished up myself. Well, some of those kits are available on Etsy again right now, and I highly recommend picking them up before the creators stop making them all over again. But that's it for this Cyberpunk News update. Make sure to sub for more videos like these and even deeper dives into lore. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.